Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In quantum mechanics, the angular momentum operator is one of several related operators analogous to classical angular momentum. The angular momentum operator plays a central role in the theory of atomic and molecular physics and other quantum problems involving rotational symmetry. Being an observable, its eigenfunctions represent the distinguishable physical states of a system's angular momentum and the corresponding eigenvalues the observable experimental values. When applied to a mathematical representation of the state of a system, yields the same state multiplied by its angular momentum value if the state is an eigenstate, as per the eigenstate's slash eigenvalues equation. In both classical and quantum mechanical systems, angular momentum, together with linear momentum and energy, is one of the three fundamental properties of motion. There are several angular momentum operators. Total angular momentum, usually denoted J, orbital angular momentum, usually denoted L, and spin angular momentum, spin for short, usually denoted S. The term angular momentum operator can confusingly refer to either the total or the orbital angular momentum. Total angular momentum is always conserved, see Notice Theorem. Overview in quantum mechanics, angular momentum can refer to one of three different but related things. Orbital angular momentum, the classical definition of angular momentum is L equals R times P. The quantum mechanical counterparts of these objects share the same relationship. L equals R times P, where R is the quantum position operator. P is the quantum momentum operator, times is cross product, and L is the orbital angular momentum operator. L, just like P and R, is a vector operator, a vector whose components are operators, i.e., L equals LX. Ly, Lz, where Lx lie, Lz are three different quantum mechanical operators. In the special case of a single particle with no electric charge and no spin, the orbital angular momentum operator can be written in the position basis as L equals minus I, R times nabla, where nabla is the vector differential operator del. Spin angular momentum, there is another type of angular momentum called spin angular momentum more often shortened to spin, represented by the spin operator S equals SX, SY, SZ. Spin is often depicted as a particle literally spinning around an axis, but this is only a metaphor. The closest classical analog is based on wave circulation. All elementary particles have a characteristic spin, scalar bosons have zero spin. For example, electrons always have spin one half while photons always have spin one details below. Total angular momentum finally. There is total angular momentum J equals JX, JY, JZ, which combines both the spin and orbital angular momentum of a particle or system. J equals L plus S. Conservation of angular momentum states that J for a closed system or J for the whole universe is conserved. However, L and S are not generally conserved. For example, the spin Orbit interaction allows angular momentum to transfer back and forth between L and S, with the total J remaining constant. Commutation relations Commutation relations between components The orbital angular momentum operator is a vector operator, meaning it can be written in terms of its vector components L equals LX, LY, LZ. The components have the following commutation relations with each other. LX, LY equals ILZ. Ly, Lz, equals Ilx, Lz, Lx equals Ily, where comma denotes the commutator xy is identical to xy minus yx. This can be written generally as LL, LM, equals I sigma n equals 1, 3 epsilon LM n LN, where L, M, n are the component indices, 1 for x, 2 for y, 3 for z, and epsilon LM n denotes the Levi Civita symbol. A compact expression as one vector equation is also possible. L times L equals IL. The commutation relations can be proved as a direct consequence of the canonical. Commutation relations XL PM equals I delta LM, where delta LM is the Kronecker delta. There is an analogous relationship in classical physics. LI LJ equals epsilon IJ KLK where Ln is a component of the classical angular momentum operator and is the Poisson bracket.
The same commutation relations apply for the other angular momentum operators, spin and total angular momentum, SL, SM, equals I sigma N equals 1 3 epsilon LM NSN, JL, JM, equals I sigma N equals 1 3 epsilon LM and JN. These can be assumed to hold an analogy with L. Alternatively, they can be derived as discussed below. These commutation relations mean that L has the mathematical structure of A. Lie algebra and the epsilon LM N are its structure constants. In this case, the Lie algebra is SU2 or SO3. In physics notation, SU2 or SO3, respectively in mathematics notation, i.e. Lie algebra associated with rotations in three dimensions. The same is true of J and S. The reason is discussed below. These commutation relations are relevant for measurement and uncertainty, as discussed further below. In molecules, the total angular momentum F is the sum of the rho vibronic orbital, angular momentum N, the electron spin angular momentum S, and the nuclear spin angular momentum I. For electronic singlet states, the rho vibronic angular momentum is denoted J rather than N. As explained by Van Vleck, the components of the molecular rho vibronic angular momentum referred to molecule fixed axes have different commutation relations from those given above, which are for the components about space fixed axes. Commutation relations involving vector magnitude like any vector. The square of a magnitude can be defined for the orbital angular momentum operator. L2 is identical to Lx2 plus L, Y2 plus Lz2. L2 is another quantum operator. It commutes with the components of L, L2, Lx equals L2, Ly equals L2, Lz equals zero. One way to prove that these operators commute is to start from the L, Lm commutation relations in the previous section. Mathematically, L2 is a Casimir invariant. Of the Lie algebra SO3, spanned by L, as above, there is an analogous relationship in classical physics. L2, Lx equals L2, Ly equals L2, Lz equals zero, where Li is a component of the classical angular momentum operator and is the Poisson bracket. Returning to the quantum case, the same commutation relations apply to the other angular momentum operators, spin and total angular momentum, as well. S2, Si equals zero, J2, Ji equals zero. Uncertainty principle in general. In quantum mechanics, when two observable operators do not commute, they are called complementary observables. Two complementary observables cannot be measured. Simultaneously, instead, they satisfy an uncertainty principle. The more accurately one observable is known, the less accurately the other one can be known. Just as there is an uncertainty principle relating position and momentum, there are uncertainty principles for angular momentum. The Robertson-Schrodinger relation gives the following uncertainty principle. Sigma L X sigma L Y greater than or equal to 2 L Z. Where sigma X is the standard deviation in the measured values of X, and X denotes the expectation value of X. This inequality is also true if X, Y, Z are rearranged, or if L is replaced by J or S. Therefore, two orthogonal components of angular momentum, for example Lx and Ly, are complementary and cannot be simultaneously known or measured, except in special cases, such as Lx equals L, Y equals Lz equals zero. It is, however, possible to simultaneously measure or specify L2 and any one component of L. For example, L2 and Lz. This is often useful, and the values are characterized by the azimuthal quantum number L and the magnetic quantum number M. In this case, the quantum state of the system is a simultaneous eigenstate of the operators L2 and Lz, but not of Lx or Li. The eigenvalues are related to L and M, as shown in the table below. Quantization in quantum mechanics, angular momentum is quantized. That is, it cannot vary continuously, but only in quantum leaps between certain allowed values. For any system, the following restrictions on measurement results apply, whereas reduced Planck constant. Derivation using ladder operators, a common way to derive the quantization rules above, is the method of ladder operators. The ladder operators for the total angular momentum J equals Jx, Jy, Jz are defined as 
J plus is identical to JX plus IJY. J minus is identical to JX minus IJ. Y suppose psi is a simultaneous eigenstate of J2 and JZ, i.e., a state with a definite value for J2 and a definite value for JZ. Then using the commutation relations for the components of J, one can prove that each of the states J plus psi and J minus psi is either zero or is simultaneous. Eigenstate of J2 and JZ, with the same value as psi for J2, but with values for JZ that are increased or decreased by respectively. The result is zero when the use of a ladder operator would otherwise result in a state with a value for JZ that is outside the allowable range. Using the ladder operators in this way, the possible values and quantum numbers for J2 and JZ can be found. Since S and L have the same commutation relations as J, the same ladder analysis can be applied to them, except that for L there is a further restriction on the quantum numbers that they must be integers. Visual interpretation since the angular momenta are quantum. Operators, they cannot be drawn as vectors like in classical mechanics. Nevertheless, it is common to depict them heuristically in this way. Depicted on the right is a set of states with quantum numbers equals 2, and m equals minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 for the 5 cones from bottom to top. Since L equals L2 equals 6, the vectors are all shown with length 6. The rings represent the fact that LZ is known with certainty, but LX and LY are unknown. Therefore, every classical vector with the appropriate length and Z component is drawn, forming a cone. The expected value of the angular momentum for a given ensemble of systems in the quantum state characterized by an M could be somewhere on this cone while it cannot be defined for a single system, since the components of L do not commute with each other. Quantization in macroscopic systems, the quantization rules are widely thought to be true even for macroscopic systems, like the angular momentum L of a spinning tire. However, they have no observable effect, so this has not been tested. For example, if LZ slash is roughly 100 million, it makes essentially no difference whether the precise value is an integer like 100 million or 100 000001, or a non-integer like 100 million point two. The discrete steps are currently too small to measure. Angular momentum as the generator of rotations, the most general and fundamental definition of angular. Momentum is as the generator of rotations. More specifically, let our n caret phi be a rotation operator, which rotates any quantum state about axis n caret by angle phi. As phi zero, the operator r n caret phi approaches the identity operator because a rotation of zero degrees maps all states to themselves. Then the angular momentum operator j n caret about axis n caret is defined as j n caret is identical to i lim phi zero r n caret phi minus one phi equals i del r n caret phi del phi phi equals zero, where one is the identity operator. Also notice that r is an additive morphism. r n caret phi one plus phi two equals our n caret phi 1, our n caret phi 2. As a consequence, our n caret phi equals exp minus i phi j n caret, where exp is matrix exponential. The existence of the generator is guaranteed by the Stone's theorem on one-parameter unitary groups. In simpler terms, the total angular momentum operator characterizes how a quantum system is changed when it is rotated. The relationship between angular momentum operators and rotation operators is the same as the relationship between Lie algebras and Lie groups in mathematics, as discussed further below. Just as J is the generator for rotation operators, L and S are generators for modified partial rotation operators. The operator are spatial, n caret phi, equals exp, minus i phi l n caret, rotates the position, in space, of all particles and fields without rotating the internal spin state of any particle. Likewise, the operator our internal n caret phi equals exp minus i phi s n caret rotates the internal spin state of all particles without moving any particles or fields in space. The relation j equals l plus s comes from our n caret phi equals our internal n caret phi our spatial n caret phi 
i.e. if the positions are rotated, and then the internal states are rotated, then altogether the complete system has been rotated. SU2, SO3, and 360 degrees rotations, although one might expect, are N caret 360 ring operator. Equals 1, a rotation of 360 degrees is the identity operator. This is not assumed in quantum mechanics, and it turns out it is often not true. When the total angular momentum quantum number is a half integer, one half, three halves, etc. R n caret 360 ring operator equals minus one. And when it is an integer, R n caret 360 ring operator equals plus one. Mathematically, the structure of rotations in the universe is not so. Three, the group of three dimensional rotations in classical mechanics. Instead, it is SU2, which is identical to SO3 for small rotations, but where a 360 degrees rotation is mathematically distinguished from a rotation of zero degrees. A rotation of 720 degrees is, however, the same as a rotation of zero degrees. On the other hand, our spatial n caret 360 ring operator equals plus one in all circumstances because a 360 degrees rotation of a spatial configuration is the same as no rotation at all. This is different from a 360 degrees rotation of the internal spin state of the particle, which might or might not be the same as no rotation at all. In other words, the R spatial operators carry the structure of SO3, while R and our internal carry the structure of SU2. From the equation plus one equals R spatial, Z caret 360 ring operator equals EXP minus 2 pi ILZ slash. One picks an eigenstate LZ psi equals M psi and draws E minus 2 pi IM equals 1, which is to say that the orbital angular momentum quantum numbers can only be integers, not half integers. Connection to representation theory, starting with a certain quantum state psi 0, consider the set of states R in caret phi, psi 0 for all possible in caret and phi, i.e. the set of states that come about from rotating the starting state in every possible way. The linear span of that set is a vector space, and therefore the manner in which the rotation operators map one state onto another is a representation of the group of rotation operators. From the relation between J and rotation operators, the Lie algebras of SU, 2, and SO, 3, are identical. The latter operator derivation above is a method for classifying the representations of the Lie algebra SU2. Connection to commutation relations classical rotations do not commute with each other. For example, rotating one degree about the x-axis, then one degree about the y-axis, gives a slightly different overall rotation than rotating one degree about the y-axis, then one degree. About the x-axis, by carefully analyzing this non-commutativity, the commutation relations of the angular momentum operators can be derived. This same calculational procedure is one way to answer the mathematical question, what is the Lie algebra of the Lie groups SO3 or SU2? Conservation of angular momentum, the Hamiltonian H, represents the energy and dynamics of the system. In a spherically symmetric situation, the Hamiltonian is invariant under rotations. Our H or minus one equals H, where R is a rotation operator. As a consequence, H, R equals zero, and then H, J equals zero due to the relationship between J and R. By the Ehrenfest theorem, it follows that J is conserved. To summarize, if H is rotationally invariant spherically, symmetric, then total angular momentum J is conserved. This is an example of Noether's theorem. If H is just the Hamiltonian for one particle, the total angular momentum of that one particle is conserved when the particle is in a central potential, i.e., when the potential energy function depends only on R. Alternatively, H may be the Hamiltonian of all particles and fields in the universe, and then H is always rotationally invariant, as the fundamental laws of physics of the universe are the same regardless of orientation. This is the basis for saying conservation of angular momentum is a general principle of physics. For a particle without spin, J equals L, so orbital angular momentum is conserved in the same circumstances. When the spin is non-zero, the spin-orbit interaction allows angular momentum to transfer from L to S or back. Therefore, L is not on its own conserved. Angular momentum coupling often 
two or more sorts of angular momentum interact with each other so that angular momentum can transfer from one to the other. For example, in spin orbit coupling, angular momentum can transfer between L and S, but only the total J equals L plus S is conserved. In another example, in an atom with two electrons, each has its own angular momentum J1 and J2, but only the total J equals J1 plus J2 is conserved. In these situations, it is often useful to know the relationship between, on the one hand, states where J1z, J12, J2z, J22 all have definite values, and on the other hand, states where J12, J22, J2, Jz all have definite values, as the latter for a usually conserved constants of motion. The procedure to go back and forth between these bases is to use Klebsch-Gordon coefficients. One important result in this field is that a relationship between the quantum numbers for J12, J22, J2, J is an element of J1 minus J2, J1 minus J2 plus 1, J1 plus J2. For an atom or molecule with J equals L plus S, the term symbol gives the quantum numbers associated with the operators L2, S2, J2, orbital angular momentum, and spherical coordinates. Angular momentum operators usually occur when solving a problem with spherical symmetry in spherical coordinates. The angular momentum in the spatial representation is L equals I, theta caret sine, theta, del del phi minus phi caret del del theta, equals I x caret sine phi, del del theta plus cot, theta cosine phi, del del phi, plus y caret, minus cosine, phi, del del theta plus cot, theta sine phi, del del phi, minus z caret del del phi. L plus equals EI phi, del del theta plus I, cot theta del del phi, L minus equals E minus I phi, minus del del theta plus I cot, theta, del del phi, L2 equals minus 2, 1 sin theta, del del theta, sin theta, del del theta, plus 1 sin 2, theta, del 2 del phi 2, LZ equals minus I del, del phi. In spherical coordinates, the angular part of the Laplace operator can be expressed by the angular momentum. This leads to the relation delta equals 1 r2 del del r, r2 del del r, minus L22 r2. When solving to find eigenstates of the operator L2, we obtain the following L2, m equals 2, plus 1, mlz, m equals m, m where theta, phi, m equals y, m, theta, phi are the spherical harmonics.